And welcome to the NASCAR Camping Road Truck Series Eldora Der Derby here from Eldora. We start this race 16th in our 51 JBL Toyota. We're at the start, we go to 15th, going by the 19 of Derek Krause. That will be Team Recharge going up to 13th as we go around the guys like Brand F Finger and some more. We have up to 11th here, passing Matt Benedetto on the 25. Lap two, we make our way into eighth. Making a nice big pass there, going by Clear with Tanner Gray and Parker Chase. On lap two, we make our way up into seventh, going by the two of Ernie Francis Jr. And also on lap three, we go from the sixth, going by Stuart Friesen. On lap three as well, we go into fourth as we pass Lawless Allen and Matt Crafton. Here we will spin across to finish the stage in third here at Eldora. That's stage two. We may pass our second on the 22 of, not the 22, on the 38 of Thad Moffat. Lap eight, we'll take the lead away from the 21 of Jack Wood. Lap 14, we win stage two here at Eldora. Then we come into the other race on 24 to come here, dominate this final stage, and win the Dirt Derby here at Elder World the Truck Series. Final race results for self, your winner, Shaq Wood, your runner-up, Matt Craft in third, Grant Effinger fourth, Wallace Allen fifth, Matt Benedetto sixth, Thad Wolfman seventh, Austin wakes up eighth, Parker took him in ninth, and Ernie Prince Jr. rounds out your top ten. And top 15 for Tyler Anker, Daniel Dye, Stuart Friesen, Chandler Smith, take both of them, you can run for him. Top 20 for Spencer Foy, Dawson Graham. Uh, Deegan pitching down to 22nd, Austin Hill 28th, you know, Tim Richmond 30th, Brett Moffitt dead last, big name struggling for third. Now the point standings. After 14 races, we have a 234 point lead over Matt Crafton. Jack Wood is third, Grant Effinger is fourth, Daniel Dye is fifth, Ernie Francis Jr. is sixth, Thad Moff is seventh, Tim Richmond is eighth, Austin Hill is ninth, and Chandler Smith runs out your top ten play first moment. Just two races for the truck playoffs. Those being just outside being Stuart Friesen, Matt DiBenedetto, Lawless Allen, and Brett Moffitt. And so. I'm going to use the calculations here to see if we a must-win situation and for the next two races. Basically, Haley Deegan on down will have to win. So Haley Deegan, Tyler Ankrum, Derek Krause, Rafael Lassard will have to win if they want to make the playoffs. And now, into the victory lane to celebrate with the crew. Fast stop of the race was a Jack Wood with a 19.736. We led the most laps, seeing 16 laps here at Eldora. On the move, it was also myself from 16th to 1st, plus 15 spots here at Eldora. And the tough break going to go to Austin Hill. Start 13th and 20th. My 15 spots, rough day for Hill. And now we head back to see the playoff grid. Now we're back to the playoff grid for the truck series here. Of course, we were locked in the playoffs, our 14 wins. And then Stuart Friesen, just two points behind Chandler Smith. Matt Benedetto, three points out. Wallace Allen, 33 points out. Brett Moffat, 36 points out. And Ankram, 116 below the cut line. The must win for him. And so, then Austin Hill is 12 points above the cut line. Tim Richmond's 32 points above the cut line. Thad Moffat is 38 points above the cut line. Ernie, Ernie Francis Jr. is... 76 points above the cut line. Daniel Dye is 87 points above the cut line. So, 
Daniel Dye, Grant Effinger, Jack Wood, and Matt Crafton have all clinched playoff spots joining myself because there's only two races left and they are more than above the points that the guys need to get in. So these guys are safe. The top five in points. And now, at this burnout, we have the NASCAR Xfinity Series Echo Park 250 from Atlanta. And I'll see you in that one. And the burnouts have begun here from Eldora after we won the NASCAR Game Pro Truck Series Dirt Derby. Here from Eldora as we crash into Rock Band with Sarge. Uh -huh. no. well, we did it by just taking the lead in stage two and then pulling away and securing the easy, easy victory here, Eldora, as we bumped into four trucks parked along the side, because why not? Now since we're now, we'll have the NASCAR Xfinity Series Echo Park 2.0. 50 from Atlanta, and I will see you in that one. And welcome to the NASCAR City Series Auto Park at the Motors 250 from Atlanta. We start this race in ninth, number 88, Helmet Chevrolet. Let's start. We are going to be past the seventh boy by Quinn Half and Tony Bradinger. As I said, Atlanta Castles, your pole sitter, currently level one, welcome to fourth, won by Justin Haley, Jesse Omoji, True Dollar. They need to bend roads to give Corey Heim just the slightest bump. Roads gets loose, and then we're gonna go and try to take the lead from Landon Castle, giving the bumper room out of the way. Oh, trouble! Corey Heim's gonna wreck! Or wrong goes Corey Heim! Hard to the outside of the line to Josh Williams into bend roads. A huge, huge wreck, which will end stage one as we just get ahead of Landon Castle in the time of yellow to win the opening stage here in Atlanta. Before the restart, we've been back to 27 minutes. 20, the top 25 all stayed out on old tires as myself, Castle, and everyone else came down. So now we've got to charge our way through the field. Here in the first lap, there's a major stack of the cars going really slow. We got all in the top 20, no problem. Top 15, McCory on his up with the bumper, so we are not happy with 20 of Corey Heim at all for that. And so, right here in lap 5, we show our displeasure to Corey Heim by just uh, dumping him into the outside wall. Season. We're gonna get saved by Kobe Howard, but stacks up that entire line. The Kiss Cars no sort of opportunity to make a pass like Quinn Hell. Now we 14th as we continue to move forward here in stage two. Lap six, make the way to 12 led by Josh Berry and Ryan Truex. That 11th going by Grant Effing. Seven. Up to ten and top ten, going by seventy and Jesse Little. We do a little bit of bump though. Uh oh, let's see across trouble around goes Jesse Little. Hard to the outside wall. In the Mind Snyder will go around. This take read, no caution for Mind Snyder and Jesse Little wrecking. And lap eight. We'll make our way into eight, going by Brandon Brown and Tommy Joe Martins. Having some solid runs for some underfunded teams. On that beat, we go in the top five, going by Noel Gregson, Riley, Herbst, and Marco Andretti all at once. On that beat, we make our way to third as we go by Brett Moffitt and Timmy Hill. On that nine, we go into second here, giving the bumper to the 23 of Anthony Alfredo, but we take the lead from him. No problem. And then. Lap 9, coming to lap 10, we will take the lead from the AT driver, we'll crash across the line to win stage 2. And what happens after the stage, we hit the wall, we come down that track, and oh my goodness, we get launched, and we go tumbling into the infield. Timmy Hill launches us on our roof. Let's get another look at that, as the stage just ends, so we come back, and our AI corrects us right in the middle of the line, and Timmy Hill just sends us flipping, my goodness. Now lap 12, we start at 9. I uh, see some damage, we gotta get back up as we had to repair that damage from literally getting launched 50 feet in the air. They go for the fourth and they go by Marco Andretti and Timmy Hill here on the restart. Your leader of the 18 of Drew Dahl. Lap 13, we go into third, going by the 23 of Anthony Alfredo. Then we take second from the 0 2 of Brett Moffitt, and then we're even gonna take the lead from Drew Dahl, and we're gonna go to the Oh, Drew Dahl in the wall! Everyone keeps to go in the right direction, we stay green. And then we come through the lap track, we come through to win the Echo Park Automotive 250 in Atlanta, the extension. Race results, myself, your winner, Drew Dollar, your runner-up, Ben Rhodes, third, Carson Hosom, our fourth, Jesse Uwuji, fifth, Anthony Alfredo, sixth, Marco Andre, seventh, Ryan Truex, eighth, and Sam Lundgren, impressive. 
Brain of Round 9 with Sam Mayer runs out your top 10. Top 15 for LaBay Fincham. Ow, my goodness. Corey Nine Fincham 13, Herbs 15, Mike Snyder 16. Top point for Tyler Hill, Ryan Vargas, Kyle Weatherman, Josh Williams. Unlike the heroes getting it done. And then the most assured grading it on 24th, Justin Haley 25th, Timmy Hill 26th, Josh Berry 28th, a lap down. Off at 32nd, Castle 34th, All Guy are dead last. That is a shame for them. Now the point standings in the Xfinity series. After 18 races, we have a 326 point lead over Jesse Luigi. Then Ben Rose is third, Brandon Brown is fourth, Corey Heim is fifth, Justin Haley is sixth, Carson Hosevar is seventh, Justin Allgaier is eighth, Josh Berry is ninth, Drew Dollar is tenth, Tony Brady is eleventh, and Riley Kirk so outside your top trouble at the moment. Landon Castle, Timmy Hill, Sam Mayer, and Brett Moffat being just outside the playoffs. Anthony Alfaro, 18th in the points. Mark Noy Dre, 9th in the points. My Snyder up to 21st. Still got a long way to go. Now we have to continue to celebrate with the crew. Last lap of the race goes to myself for the 30.156. We also led the most laps, seeing 15 laps here at Atlanta. Then on the move was Chad Fincher from 33rd to 12th. That's 21 spots. Impressive drive from him. And then the tough break going to go to Landon Castle. Started on pole, finished 34th, minus 33 spots. A rough day for Landon. Now we head back to see the playoff grid. Now we are back to see the playoff grid with eight races left in the regular season in the Xfinity Series. Myself, top of the board with 18 wins. I list all top 12. And the race results, Landon Castle 13 points below Riley Herps. Timmy Hill 16 points out. Sam Merritt 28 points out. Brett Moffat 52 points out. Ryan Truex 74 points below the cut line. Tony Bradinger is 26 points above the cut line. Drew Dollar is 30 points above the cut line as well as Josh Berry. Justin Allgaier is 48 points above the cut line. Carson Osler is 49 points above the cut line. Justin Haley is 58 points above the cut line. Corey Heim is 82 points above the cut line. Brandon Brown is 101 points above the cut line. Ben Rhodes is 108 points above the cut line. And Jesse Awuji is 130 points above the cut line. Now to the sprint out, we have the NASCAR Cup Series racing from Atlanta. I'll see you in that one. And the burnouts have we got here for that uh, we won the Echo Park got about a 250 in the NASCAR experience here. A dominant performance, leading nearly every lap since we retook the lead. And it was a great run from Fidler, tired, nearly blowing to the line. We managed to survive and can send the win streak to one more race. Not to spread out, we'll have the NASCAR Cup Series, Quaker State 400 from Atlanta. We'll finish off Atlanta for the season. See you in that one. Brad Keselowski will clinch his first victory ever at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Kevin Harvick wins in dominating fashion. And it will be Brad Keselowski claiming the victory. He can't even see the second place finisher in his rear view mirror. Ryan Blaney is your victor here today at Atlanta. How about that, boys? Great job, everybody. Welcome to Countdown to Green, presented by Sonic. The rain showed up for a second, moved us to the booth as the track dries up. For the first time in over a decade, the city of Atlanta will host two Cup Series races in the same year. Ryan Blaney took race one, but today we're gassing up round two in the final chapter of this mile and a half configuration inside Atlanta Motor Speedway. Jack Collinsworth with our crew chief mastermind, Steve Letart in the Hall of Famer, Dale Earnhardt Jr. So it's the final time we get to see this track in this setup. What's the feeling as an era here comes to an end? It's NASCAR Cup Series from Atlanta. This telecast presented by Breads Tree. 
So many storylines to keep track of as we come to Atlanta for the final time with this configuration. For some of those stories, let's go to Dylan Welsh. Well, hey, Rick, it's no secret that Hendrick Motorsports has made these mile-and-a-half racetracks their personal ATMs this year. NASCAR on NBCSN is brought to you by Carvana, driven to make winners out of our customers. Credit One Bank, the official credit card of NASCAR. Visit GoCreditOne.com. Ram Trucks, the only truck to win Motor Trend Truck of the Year three years in a row. And by Brestree. For more information, visit Brestree.com. And it's time now for today's starting grid, brought to you by Brestree. Let's hear from the first five rows. Chase Elliott, Dawsonville, Georgia. Kyle Busch, Las Vegas, Nevada. Denny Hamlin, Chesterfield, Virginia. Christopher Bell, Norman, Oklahoma. Martin Truex Jr., Mayetta, New Jersey. Kyle Larson, Elk Grove, California. Tyler Reddick, Corning, California. Kurt Busch, Las Vegas, Nevada. Ross Chastain, Alva, Florida. Joey Logano, Middletown, Connecticut. Back at row six, Chase Briscoe coming off a career best finish at Road America finishing six alongside Matt DiBenedetto. And welcome to the NASCAR Cup Series. This is Marmon Quick Trip 500 from Atlanta. We start this race about mid-pack. 21st, and off the first stop. We're going to make our way up into the top 20 going by the nine of Chase Elliott. Lap two, we drive into 16th going by Ross Chastain, Ryan Priest, and Eric Jones. Lap three, oh, we got trouble. Ryan Priest is around. Oh, no, he's going to save it. Off of Austin Dillon, he stacks up fire, but he holds on to it somehow. What an incredible save by Priest. We stay green. Cost him a lot of track position. Lap three. We're trying to fight Daniel Suarez and Logano. We are three wide here, having a great battle. I'm just frustrated with Suarez. That's the point that we don't want. He's in the wall. We get to around. That's Joey Logano. Spinning to the grass. Caution will come out. And we will have a restart. Another restart. We are now inside the top five. And by Cinder for fourth. And lap eight will take third away from the five of Kyle Larson. Nine. You'll take second away from the 20 of Harrison Burton, and now it's the 45 of Christopher Bell. You gotta take the lead from. We stay behind him, give him a bump. Two bumps, three bumps, maybe too many bumps, and around goes the 45 of Christopher Bell in the outside wall. Oh. And upside down, Jimmy Johnson flips him over. Oh my goodness, Bell goes flying. No caution by some miracle. No caution comes out in lap 12. We come through to win at stage one here at Atlanta in the NASCAR Cup Series. We start on 16. There are fourth Ty Gibbs, Kyle Larson, Harrison Burton. He's up and then we just got stacked just like that. And that costs us some momentum. Then we give Kaz a little bit of the bumper. Stack us all back up to the lap 19. Going to fourth point by Jimmy Johnson. Lap 21. We may pass our second going by both Kyle Larson and Harrison Burton. Now this time it's Ty Gibbs that lies in front of us. Next lap we get to the bumper. Ty Gibbs give him a shot. Move him out of the way. And take the lead from the 11 of Ty Gibbs. Lap 27 we win stage 2 here in Atlanta. Lap 30. We're trying to hold the lead. Noah Gregson to the bottom. Oh we hit him. And around goes Noah Gregson. And right back into traffic. He'll go right into Kyle Larson. This right, Haley digging upside down. Haley digging a vicious, vicious flip down the front stretch of the turn one. A humongous wreck. Let's take another look. We just send Gregson. He looks like he's gonna make a nice save, and then he overcorrects it right into Larson. Goes all the digging goes flipping down the front stretch. My goodness. On lap 35, we drop back to second. And 61 and Garala gets the lead as we get into the wall. Then we door Nemechek. At 35, we're really trying to block Nemechek. You're crunching him, giving him no space, and into the corner around goes John Nemechek. It'll spin in the back, and we're trying to hold second from Kislowski. Contact over the wall, we get sent to the bottom. Oh, back of the track into the 41 as far as caution comes out. 
a crazy turn of events so far here at Atlanta. We're back to 21st because about the 15, 16 cars came down pit road, including myself. So Eric Jones is the leader at the moment. As we come to the last few laps of this race, you're now going to get the 16th, going by Taz Corolla, Chris Busher, and Harrison Burton. And that 40, we get inside the top 10, going by some track house racing Chevrolets. Now also Dylan is in the lead. Lap 40, we go into fifth point by Tyler Reddick and Ryan Priest. Three wide on the bottom. Lap 41, we take second away to go right by Kyle Busch, Joy Logano, and Eric Jones all in one corner. Lap 41 here, coming to the white flag. We do have side by side for Austin Dillon. Who's going to get there first? He gets loose wheel for the and the next time we will come through to take the checkered flag and win the Fuzz Orange Victor 500 here in Atlanta to get the season sweep. Finish results of myself here winner Austin Dillon, your runner up, Ryan Priest third, Eric Jones fourth, Richard Petty Motorsports, Kyle Bush fifth, Joy Logano sixth, Noah Gregson seventh, Brandon Jones eighth, John Arnie check ninth, and Tyler Reddick down second, top ten. Well, Chastain, Zane Smith get a nice top 15 run. Larson recovers to 15th, Keselowski down 20th, Ty Gibbs 21st, Jimmy Hill gets the top 25, that's fair. And Cindric 25th, last currently lap to Byron 26th, Johnson 27th, Haley Deegan 30th, Bowman 31st, Blaney 33rd, Hemrick 35th, Bubba Wallace 37th, Cole Custer DNS in last. Rough day for those guys, and now we head back. Rush out, we don't head back. The point standings, out of 21 races, we have a 486 point lead over Ryan Priest and John Hernemichek is third, Kyle Larson is fourth, Ty Gibbs is fifth, Austin Sindrick is sixth, Joy Logano is seventh, Noah Gregson is eighth, Chase Elliott is ninth, Haley Deacon is tenth, Brad Keselowski is eleventh, Harrison Burton is twelfth, Tyler Reddick is thirteenth, Kyle Bush is fourteenth, Dion Swartz is fifteenth, and Jimmy Johnson around there top sixteen at the moment. Brandon Jones, Sheldon Creed, Christopher Bell, Ryan Blaney being just inside the playoffs, William Byron 21st in the points, Dale Hemrick 22nd, Kaz 23rd, Bubba 24th, Bowman 25th, St. Smith, Briscoe below the top 30. And now we head to Victory Lane to celebrate with the crew. Fast off the race, go to Ty Gibbs with 29.397. Vida de Mosa, 22 laps here at Atlanta and a dominating performance. And then on the move was Brandon Jones from 39th to 8th, plus 31 spots for him. On a tough break, we're going to go to Bubba Wall, start 11, finish 37th. My 26 spots for Bubba. Now we head back to see the playoff grid. Now, back to the playoff grid. Myself, top board, 21 wins. Brandon Jones, 8 points below Jimmy Johnson. Sheldon Creed, 20 points out. Christopher Bell, 26 points out. Blaney, 36 points out. Byron, 40 points below the cut line. Daniel Swartz is 9 points above the cut line. Kyle Busch is 11 above. Tyler Reddick is 21 above. Harrison Burton is 27 above. Brad Keselowski is 28 above. Haley Deegan is 65 above. Chase Elliott 66 above, Noah Gregson 68 above, Joey Logano is 92 above, Austin Sindrick is 108 points above, Ty Gibbs is 123 points above, Kyle Larson is 146 points above, John Hernemichek is 152 points above, and Ryan Priest is 220 points above the cut line. Now it's a sprint out be in the episode, and then I'll see you in the next one when we head to New Hampshire. And the burnouts have moved in here from Atlanta after we have won the full of honor and quick trip by Atlanta, Atlanta after a thrilling finish with about a six to go restart. We climb our way all the way up from 22nd to the lead, coming to the white flag to here in Atlanta. 
and keep our dominant streak alive here. Trying to beat ourselves of having one of the greatest statistical seasons of all time. Wins, top fives, top tens, average finish laps, led, so on and so forth. We are just owning the field. Now we burn it down in celebration. That's just for now we end the episode in the next one. We will have racing from the Hampshire in the Cup and Xfinity Series. And until then, have a good one.